Hawker Siddeley was a group of British manufacturing companies engaged in aircraft production. Hawker Siddeley combined the legacies of several British aircraft manufacturers, emerging through a series of mergers and acquisitions as one of only two such major British companies in the 1960s. In 1977, Hawker Siddeley became a founding component of the nationalised British aerospace. Hawker Siddeley also operated in other industrial markets, such as locomotive building and diesel engine manufacture. The company was once a constituent of the FTSE 100 index. History, Origins, Hawker Siddeley Aircraft was formed in 1935 as a result of the purchase by Hawker Aircraft of the companies of J.D. Siddeley, the automotive and engine builder Armstrong Siddeley and the aircraft manufacturer Armstrong Whitworth Aircraft. At this time, Hawker Siddeley also acquired A.V. Rowe and Company, Gloucester Aircraft Company and Air Training Services. The constituent companies continued to produce their own aircraft designs under their own name as well as sharing manufacturing work throughout the group. During the Second World War, Hawker Siddeley was one of the United Kingdom's most important aviation concerns, producing numerous designs including the famous Hawker Hurricane fighter plane that, along with the Supermarine Spitfire, was Britain's frontline defence in the Battle of Britain. During this campaign, Hurricanes outnumbered all other British fighters, combined, in service and were responsible for shooting down 55% of all enemy aircraft destroyed. Avro Canada, in 1945, the Hawker Siddeley purchased Victory Aircraft of Moulton, Ontario, Canada from the Canadian government, renaming the company AV Row Canada, commonly known as Avro Canada, initially a wholly owned subsidiary of Hawker Siddeley. Avro Canada underwent a major expansion through aircraft development and acquisition of aircraft engine, mining, steel, railway rolling stock, computers, electronics, and other businesses to become, by 1958, Canada's third largest company directly employing over 14,000 people and providing 45% of the parent company's revenues. During its operation, Avro Canada aircraft included the C-102 jetliner, CF-100 Canuck, CF-105 Arrow and BZ-9 AV Avocar. Only the CF-100 fighter entered full-scale production. Other design projects included supersonic transport passenger aircraft, a Mac-2 VTOL fighter, hovercraft, a jet engine power tank, and a hypersonic space threshold vehicle. After the cancellation of the Arrow, the company began to unravel. In 1962, AV Row Canada was dissolved and the remaining assets were transferred to the now defunct Hawker Siddeley Canada. Postwar, in 1948, the company name was changed to Hawker Siddeley Group. The aircraft division would become Hawker Siddeley Aviation and the guided missile and space technology operations as Hawker Siddeley Dynamics. In 1959, the aero engine business, Armstrong Siddeley was merged with that of the Bristol Aero Engines to form Bristol Siddeley. In the late 1950s, the British government decided that with the decreasing number of aircraft contracts being offered, it was better to merge the existing companies, of which there were about 15 surviving at this point, into several much larger firms. Out of this decision, came the order that all future contracts being offered had to include agreements to merge companies. In 1959, Folland Aircraft was acquired followed by de Havilland Aircraft Company and Blackburn Aircraft in 1960. In 1963, the names of the constituent companies were dropped, with products being rebranded as Hawker Siddeley, or HS. In this period, the company developed the first operational, and, by far, the most successful VTOL jet aircraft, the Harrier family. This aircraft remained in production into the 1990s and remains in service. Expansion into railways, in 1957, Hawker Siddeley purchased the Brush group of companies that included Brush Electrical Machines, and Brush Traction who manufacture electromotive equipment and railway locomotives. The Brush prototype locomotives Falcon and the futuristic but overweight HS4000 Kestrel were produced here. Other railway engineering assets were acquired, including Westinghouse Brake and Signal and the engine builder Myrilee's Blackstone which came with the brush businesses. In the early 1970s Hawker Siddeley's Canada Car and Foundry subsidiary began to build rapid transit vehicles for the North American market. 
The first order was for the Port Authority Trans Hudson Line and consisted of 38 PA3 cars, which were largely based on the original hexagonal profile PA car design built by the St. Louis Car Company. Later Hawker Sidley would sell the same general design to the MBTA in Boston for their blue and orange lines. 70 48 feet cars were delivered to the Blue Line in 1978 Euro 80 and 120 65 feet cars were delivered to the Orange Line in 1980 Euro 81. Hawker Sidley also manufactured much of the Toronto subway system's older rolling stock, the H5 and H6 models. The heavy rail manufacturing business, based in Mississauga and Thunder Bay, Ontario, are now part of Bombardier Transportation. MBTA also bought a number of commuter rail coaches from the German firm Messerschmitt, teaming up Hawker Siddeley with its old wartime rival under the same organization. Nationalization of aircraft production, on April 29, 1977, as a result of the Aircraft and Shipbuilding Industries Act, Hawker Siddeley Aviation and Dynamics were nationalized and merged with British Aircraft Corporation and Scottish Aviation to form British Aerospace. However, HSA and HSD accounted for only 25% of the Hawker Siddeley business by this time, and the non aviation and foreign interests were retained by a holding company known as Hawker Siddeley Group PLC after 1980. Rationalization and sale to BTR, the group rationalized in the 1980s, focusing on railway engineering and signaling, industrial electronics and instrumentation and signaling equipment. Oranda Aerospace, the only remaining original company from the Avro Canada slash Hawker Siddeley Canada era, although greatly diminished in size and scope of operations, became part of the Magellan Aerospace Corporation. The late 1980s also saw Hawker Siddeley divest itself of much of its other North American heavy manufacturing enterprises. Its Talladega, Alabama based tree farmer heavy equipment business was sold to Franklin Equipment in 1990 and its Canadian rail car production facilities were split between SNC Lavalin and Bombardier in 1992. In 1992, Hawker Siddeley Group PLC was acquired by BTR PLC for a £1.5 billion. Hawker Siddeley named today, in 1973, HS acquired the industrial electronics firm South Wales Switchgear. Later known as Aberdeer Holdings, in 1992 this company was renamed Hawker Siddeley Switchgear. They have an Australian subsidiary, Hawker Siddeley Switchgear Australia. Another company which retains the name is Hawker Siddeley Power Transformers. In 1993, British Aerospace sold its corporate jet product line to the American Raytheon Aircraft Company. In 2006 the product line was sold to a new company to be known as Hawker Beechcraft owned by Onex Partners and Goldman Sachs. Products Aircraft, the Hawker Siddeley name was not used to brand aircraft until 1963. Prior to this, aircraft were produced under the name of the subsidiary company. First flight date is in parentheses. HS-121 Trident a Euro originated as de Havilland DH-121 airliner. HS-125 and Dominia Euro originated as the de Havilland DH-125. Military service as Domini, pages 139b, AEW and COD aircraft project. HS-141, VSTOL airliner project submission. HS-146 a Euro entered production and later renamed the Banner 146. HS-748 a Euro originated as Avro 748 turboprop airliner. HS-780 Andover a Euro military derivative of HS-748, pages 1121 a Euro a Hawker project, Kestrel a Euro a Hawker project, Harrier, see also Harrier jump jet, pages 1154, VSTOL combat aircraft project. HS-801 Nimrod a Euro development of the de Havilland Comet as a naval patrol aircraft, HS-1182 Hawk, advanced jet trainer, Airbus A300 a Euro Hawker Siddeley designed and built the wings of the A300 airliner. Argosy a Euro known as Armstrong Whitworth Argosy until individual brands dropped in 1963. Built by Hawker Siddeley during the early 1960s. The last Argosy was built in 1965. 
Buccaneer Euro originated as the Blackburn Buccaneer. Hawker Sidley built the Buccaneer for the Royal Navy, plus the South African Air Force during the 1960s, also a number of SMK-2B aircraft for the Royal Air Force. Comet for a Euro first flying as the de Havilland Comet airliner in 1949. The Comet 4 was still being built by Hawker Siddeley in the early 1960s. The final Comet 4 rolled off the production line in 1964. Dove Euro originated as the de Havilland Dove. Hawker Siddeley built the Dove during the 1960s. The last Dove was rolled off the production line in 1967. Nat Euro originated as the Folland Nat. Hawker Siddeley built a number nuts during the early 1960s, for the Finnish Air Force, Indian Air Force and the RAF. Heron a Euro originated as the de Havilland Heron. Built by Hawker Siddeley in the early 1960s. The last Heron was rolled off the production line in 1963. Hunter a Euro originated as the Hawker Hunter. The Hunter was still being built by Hawker Siddeley in early 1960s. The final Hunter rolled off the production line in 1966. Sea Vixen a Euro originated as the de Havilland Sea Vixen. Hawker Siddeley built the Sea Vixen during the early 1960s. The last Sea Vixen was delivered to the Royal Navy in 1965. Vulcan a Euro originated as the Afro Vulcan. Hawker Siddeley built the Vulcan during the early 1960s. The last Vulcan was delivered to the RAF in 1965. Armstrong Whitworth AW 681, transport project renamed as HS 681, Hawker Siddeley Helicron, a cancelled flying crane helicopter project in three variants, HS, HM and HL. The project was inherited from Blackburn, their Blackburn SP-62 design had six Bristol Siddeley turbojets in the rotor head exhausting at the rotor tips. Missiles and rockets Blue Steel a Euro standoff nuclear weapon developed by Avro, Blue Streak a Euro de Havilland medium range nuclear missile, de Havilland Fira Streak, air to air missile, Europa rocket a Euro Hawker Siddeley built the first stage of the Europa rocket. Martel in collaboration with Matra, Red Top, Sea Dart, surface to air missile, Sea Slug a Euro Armstrong Whitworth surface to air missile. Tail Dog SRAAM an experimental missile that eventually turned into the BA Yasram. Space Hardware, Miranda, Heavy Equipment, Tree Farmer, Hawker Siddeley Canada, HS Canadian Unit Produced Rail Cars, Transit Vehicles, Engines, HS Canada Product Lines, Key People, Aircraft Designers and Engineers, Sydney Cam, Stuart Davis, John Fuzard, Test Pilots, Bill Humble, Managing Directors, Sir Arnold Alexander Hall, see also, Aerospace Industry in the United Kingdom, References Bibliography, Campana, Amira. Requiem for a Giant, A.V. Row Canada and the Afro Arrow, Dunduran Press, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Oxford, UK. Whitcomb, Randall. Cold War Tech War, The Politics of America's Air Defense, Apogee Books, Burlington, Ontario, Canada, 2008. ISBN 978-1-894959-77-3, Zuck, Bill. Avocar, Canada's Flying Saucer, The Story of Afro-Canada's Secret Projects. Boston Mills Press, Erin, Ontario, Canada 2001. ISBN 1-55046-359-4, External links, Hawker Siddeley Australia Corporate Website, Funding Universe Hawker Siddeley Group Public Limited Company A Euro Company History